So you're fairly new to the internet and you want to find something online. So you go to google.com or another search engine to look for things, but you're not really finding what you're looking for. And that may be because you're not familiar with how to search in a search engine terribly well. If that's the case, then there, we have some tips that can help you out and help you find what you're looking for. So when you go to Google or really any other search engine, this is pretty much the same kind of idea across the board, you might be approaching it like you're talking to a person. If your head hurts, you might go um, to a pharmacist or, or someone and say your head hurts and you need help, but you need to be more specific. You need to think in the terms that the web page might be written in. So perhaps you have a headache and you want to get the best medicine for a headache, so you could ask what's the best medicine for a headache. The problem is if you do that, you're giving Google a lot of words. What's the best medicine for a headache is a long search term. Now, you can get search results this way, but it generally is better practice to just say best headache medicine. You're giving Google fewer things to go on, and then you can specify even more specifically if you're pregnant, have high blood pressure, have a hangover, or just getting something over the counter and don't want to deal with prescription drugs. So those are two things that you really want to pay attention to when you're searching online. Um, first of all, you want to think about what the web page might say so and the terms it might use rather than how you might describe something to a person. And second, you want to use the fewest search terms possible. Additionally to those search tips, there are a few things you might also want to know. One is that every search that you do is case insensitive. So if you're searching for life hacker in lowercase, or life hacker, oops, it's the same as capitalizing it. It won't make a difference to Google. You could also search for life hacker, but those punctuation marks are just ignored. Pretty much every punctuation mark is ignored, and same goes for a lot of special characters as well. Lastly, if you're looking for a specific phrase, such as a specific phrase, you can put that in quotes and then you will get, <laughs> you're looking for a specific phrase, then you'll get exactly what you're looking for. It'll show you exactly the phrase that you searched for. So if you want something and you don't want Google to move the words around for you and you want to get exactly that phrase you search for, just put it in quotes. So those are the things you need to know about basic search and you should be able to find things a lot more easily if you just keep those things in mind. There are a lot more things Google can do and a lot of more advanced tips that you can find on Lifehacker, which will be linked to in this post, but this should be more than enough to get you started.